Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. Most practitioners of Buddhism in Japan celebrate the birth of the Buddha on April 8th each year. The Buddha was born sometime between the 6th and the 4th century BCE. In 1730, Sharith Israel, the first synagogue in New York City, is dedicated. In 1766, the first fire escape is patented. In 1801, soldiers riot in Bucharest and kill 128 Jews for some reason. In 1808, with the founding of the Diocese of New York, Philadelphia, Boston, and what we now call Louisville, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Baltimore is promoted to an archdiocese by Pope Pius VII. In 1832, in what is called the Black Hawk War, United States 6th Infantry Troops leave St. Louis, Missouri to fight the Sauk Native Americans. In 1838, the Great Western, the earliest regular transatlantic steamer, embarks on its maiden voyage from Bristol, England to New York City. In 1862, John D. Lind patents the aerosol dispenser, and now we are trying to get rid of it. In 1869, the American Museum of Naval History opens in New York City. In 1879, milk is sold in glass bottles for the first time. In 1893, the first documented college basketball game occurs in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. In 1904, Longacre Square in Midtown Manhattan is renamed Times Square after the New York Times newspaper. In 1906, Auguste Dieter, the first person to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, dies today. In 1908, Harvard University votes to establish the Harvard Business School. In 1912, the amazing Norwegian-American figure skater Sonja Henny was born today. Also in 1912, steamers collide on the Nile, drowning 200 people. And let's not even talk about the crocodiles. In 1913, the 17th Amendment was ratified. It calls for the direct election of U.S. Senators by voters of their home states. In 1916, Norway approves active and passive female suffrage. In 1918, actors Douglas Fairbanks and Charlie Chaplin sell war bonds on the streets of New York City's financial district. In 1920, the Venus de Milo statue was found in pieces on the Aegean island of Milos. It was reconstructed and put on display in the Louvre in Paris. In 1931, Dmitry Shostakovich's ballet, The Arrow, premieres tonight. In 1933, Britain's Manchester Guardian warns of unknown Nazi terror. It will be known soon enough. In 1935, the Works Progress Administration is approved by Congress. In 1940, German battle cruisers sink the British aircraft carrier Glorious. In 1942, during World War II, the Japanese take Bataan in the Philippines. In 1943, in an attempt to check inflation, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt freezes wages and prices, prohibits workers from changing jobs, and bars rate increases. In 1945, after an air raid accidentally destroys a train carrying 4,000 people headed for a Nazi concentration camp in Prussia, the survivors are massacred by Nazis. So survive an air raid and then get murdered. Also in 1945, Nazi occupiers are executed by the Dutch. Good riddance. In 1946, the last meeting of the League of Nations occurs and now is replaced by the United Nations. In 1947, the largest recorded sunspot ever is observed. It is 40 times the diameter of Earth. In 1953, Jomo Kenyatta is sentenced to seven years of hard labor, but then goes on to become Kenya's first president in 1964. In 1956, six Marine recruits drown during an exercise at Paradise Island, South Carolina. In 1959, programmer Grace Hopper, also known as Amazing Grace, is instrumental in the release of programming language COBOL. In 1960, the U.S. Senate passes a civil rights bill with measures against discriminatory voting practices. In 1961, an explosion on board the British liner MV Dara in the Persian Gulf kills 238 people. 
In 1963, at the 35th Academy Awards, Lawrence of Arabia, Anne Bancroft, and Gregory Peck win. Also in 1963, the Detroit Tigers claim young pitcher Denny McLean on waivers from the Chicago White Sox. Huge, huge mistake by the White Sox. In 1966, Time Magazine publishes its first issue without an image, the infamous Is God Dead issue. In 1968, the 40th Academy Awards that were supposed to be tonight are postponed to April 10th due to the death of Martin Luther King Jr. And for the same reason in 1968, Major League Baseball postpones opening day. And in 1968 as well, gangsters Henry Hill and Jimmy Burke commit the Air France robbery at New York City's JFK International Airport. In 1969, MLB expansion teams, the Royals, the Expos, the Padres, and the Pilots win their first games. In 1970, Israeli bombers accidentally strike an Egyptian school. 46 children are killed. In 1971, the first legal off-track betting system begins. In 1973, Spanish painter Pablo Picasso passes away today. In 1974, Discovery Island opens at Walt Disney World in Florida. In 1975, Frank Robinson becomes Major League Baseball's first African-American manager. Also in 1975, President Richard Nixon signs federal legislation authorizing the establishment of Voyagers National Park in northern Minnesota. In 1975 as well, at the 47th Academy Awards, The Godfather Part II, Ellen Bernstein and Art Carney win. In 1977, The Clash released their self-titled debut album. In 1979, one of TV's most successful sitcoms, the final episode of All in the Family, aired on CBS Tonight. It was known for its in-your-face and honest treatment of topics such as race, gender, sex, and bigotry. In 1983, in front of a live audience of 20 tourists, David Copperfield makes the Statue of Liberty disappear. Or did he? In 1984, in the new U.S. Census, New York City remains the largest city, but Los Angeles replaces Chicago as number two. Also in 1984, at the fourth Golden Raspberry Awards, Lonely Lady wins for worst movie. In 1985, India files suit against Union Carbide for the Bhopal disaster, which killed an estimated 2,000 people and injured another 200,000. In 1986, Clint Eastwood is elected mayor of Carmel, California, which makes his day. In 1990, Ryan White dies at age 18. He became a national symbol in the United States after he contracted AIDS from a blood transfusion given to treat his hemophilia. Also in 1990, the first episode of Twin Peaks aired on television. In 1990 as well, Aspects of Love opens at the Broadhurst Theater in New York City for 377 performances. And one more in 1990, the Norwegian ferry Scandinavian Star catches fire, killing 159 people. In 1991, beloved actor Michael Landon announces he has inoperable pancreatic cancer. Also in 1991, Oakland A's Stadium becomes the first outdoor arena in the United States to ban smoking. In 1992, retired tennis great Arthur Ashe announces that he has AIDS, which he acquired from blood transfusions he received during one of his two heart surgeries. Also in 1992, after 151 years, Britain's Punch magazine publishes its final issue. In 1994, smoking is banned in the Pentagon and all U.S. military bases. In 2000, 19 U.S. Marines are killed when a V-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft crashes near Marana, Arizona. In 2005, over 4 million people pay their last respects to Pope John Paul II in Rome. In 2006, in what is known as the Shedden Massacre, the bodies of eight men are found in a field in Ontario, Canada. The murders are quickly linked to the Banditos motorcycle gang. In 2013, former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher passes away. Also in 2013, 15 people are killed and 53 are wounded by a car bombing in Damascus. In 2013 as well, 163 people are killed 
and 50,000 are displaced after tribal violence erupts in Darfur, Sudan. In 2016, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees are Chicago, Cheap Trick, Deep Purple, Steve Miller, and NWA. In 2019, a new study by Tokyo University finds that one in four Japanese people aged 18 through 39 are virgins. Also in 2014, a record 17 foot or 5.2 meter invasive Burmese python is captured in Florida's Big Cypress National Preserve. She is also pregnant with 73 eggs. In 2019 as well, actress Allison Mack pleads guilty to sex trafficking charges for her involvement in a sex cult. And lastly, in 2021, Egyptian archaeologists announced their most important find since Tutankhamun's tomb, the discovery of the 3,000-year-old ancient city of Aten near Luxor. Hey, thanks for watching my video today. I've got a lot more there right in front of you and a whole bunch more coming. So, uh, you know what? Give me a thumbs up. Tell me how much you like them. Talk to you tomorrow.